Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I feel very much honored to talk about uh, uh, news algorithm for the recommendation of trustworthy uh, news. Uh, I'm representing a uh, news trust com uh, committee, so this is a, a collective work among members. Uh, before I get into the uh, algorithm part, uh, I'd like to spend a few minutes uh, in describing uh, why we are doing this, uh, what's happening in the uh, South Korean uh, news ecosystems. I mean, as you can see in these figures, rapidly decline, you know, decline of newspapers, and television is still high, but gradually declining and likely to decline. On the other hand, social media and mobile uh, platform uh, is sharply, uh, I mean, uh, increased in terms of the uh, usage uh, shares. I mean, this is not particular to uh, South Korea. This is a global trend. Uh, I mean, you can see this kind of trend all over the world. But what I'm trying to say is, what's unique about South Korean situations? Uh, first, is portal. I mean, you already heard about the influence of portals. I mean, uh, about 80% of online news traffic are taking place portals. For neighbor itself, 55 online news traffic goes to neighbor, according to uh, one studies I was involved. And second is, not only the dominance of portals, the portal market or news distribution market, we see monopolistic uh, situations. I mean, the neighbors, I mean, it's the most influential, uh, dominant uh, players. And I was surprised to see Professor Bell's uh, presentations. And in the United States, the legacy media have choice of 21 different platforms, social media platforms. Uh, I don't know how many uh, choices uh, our legacy media has. Less than five, I think, the mostly the uh, portals and uh, neighbors. And the third problem is trust crisis. I think South Korean journalism are stuck in the uh, vicious cycle of uh, trust uh, crisis. Uh, as you look at, uh, you can see these uh, figures. Uh, I mean, advertising-based business model is not working. Uh, uh, I mean, declining of leadership and uh, viewerships. And uh, advertising revenue for the legacy media is substantially reduced. And uh, next step, uh, what can uh, legacy media do in this situation is I mean, cost cut. They have to cut the jobs, mostly journalists. They have to reduce the number of uh, journalists. But in the digital environment, uh, what's happening is uh, we don't have any meaningful uh, deadline, and reporters uh, should write a uh, news story for the many different uh, platforms, not only physical newspaper, but also their own website and app and media platforms. And also, the logic of operating, uh, I mean, this digital platform is, I mean, we all heard about the attention economies. The logic is attention and scale. So what happened is, less number of newspaper reporters, less number of journalists, uh, more number of news stories, less time, because they have to compete for the speed also. So what we are saying is, being first is become more important than uh, being right. And also quantity become more important than qualities. And also getting attention is more important than getting trust. So that leads to the lower quality of news content, journalism uh, product, and also that uh, cause a uh, fall of trust in uh, news media, and also then uh, another decline of uh, readership and uh, viewerships. So this is the vicious uh, cycle. Uh, this is the now it's very, very familiar. It's been uh, uh, published by the uh, Loiter Institute. It's a comparative study about trust levels. Last year, we were second to lowest. But this year, the South Korea uh, uh, was 
uh, lowest in terms of the trust level. As a journalism scholar, this is kind of an embarrassing uh, result. Uh, but uh, I think we should take this result as very seriously. And, and we have to find a way to restore our journalism value and enhance uh, trust level uh, anyway. And what's the reason for this kind of uh, trust crisis? There are many reasons. And, and political landscape, if you look at the political landscape of South Korea, I mean, politics are divided between left-leaning and right-leaning. And at the same time, the journalism also divide uh, in, along the same uh, line. So most readers think, I mean, most legacy news media are politically motivated and also commercially uh, mot motivated. And, and uh, they don't trust uh, uh, seriously. And also the broadcasting, uh, is TV broadcasting is concerned, as you may know, the, uh, there has been a lot of state uh, intervention in public broadcasting. That's why we are having a uh, strike uh, these uh, days. And, and then that affects to the lowering of I mean, trust levels. And also lack of I mean, professionalism and neglect in uh, fact uh, checking. Uh, but the point I'm trying to emphasize this afternoon is number four. The journalism media lost control over the distribution market, distribution uh, channels. Even though they write uh, high quality news uh, stories, uh, they have to go through mostly uh, the digital uh, platform. That quality news uh, does not tend to survive uh, in the algorithm driven uh, news portals or news platform. Why? As I told you, the algorithm is basically based on uh, attention, uh, also scale. So all the entertainment oriented stories and also uh, less accurate uh, stories uh, uh, pretty often uh, appears in uh, news portals. So related issue is uh, dominant of portals. Uh, what kind of issue we have? Uh, small media and local media has very difficulty I mean, because their story uh, does not appear in the front page or top part of the uh, portals. The all, I mean, uh, all the major uh, uh, media stories appears, and also I mean they lose uh, advertising uh, revenues. Uh, most of digital advertising revenues uh, goes to uh, portals. And also, they are losing brand values because people, when they read the news stories in the portals, they don't remember the publisher's name. Okay. I mean, it was very interesting to hear from the Kakao, uh, also the, uh, uh, the uh, neighbor, they are uh, trying to focus on individual journalists. Uh, that leads to the enhancement of individual journalists or individual people's uh, brand values. But I clearly see there is a tension between individual journalism, uh, journalist uh, brand value and uh, legacy media, or media as an organization's uh, brand values. Also, they are losing data about uh, audience because 80% of the online traffic is happening in the portals. All the data or information about audience goes to portals, neighbors. I was very glad to uh, 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 Mr. Yu, representing neighbors, when talk about uh, they are planning to reveal some data uh, uh, to publishers. And I was, I'm very uh, look forward to seeing uh, what kind of data uh, will be uh, disclosed uh, by uh, portals. And all together, that leads to again the lowering of quality of uh, news. And I mean, we know the portal is very influential, but I mean, many times we talk about uh, they are uh, neglecting what they lack uh, in the accountability. And I mean, uh, in the former uh, previous sessions, uh, we talk about the uh, quote unquote uh, news manipulation of. Uh, by neighbor about professional baseball or uh, I mean uh, news stories. Uh, we don't know how uh, curation teams or algorithm work uh, exactly. So it's very it's not transparent. So we have issue of accountability and lack of uh, transparencies. 
So what can be done? Some measures. I mean, again, we can think about uh, regulations, but uh, it's not easy. It's very difficult and complex issues because, uh, I mean, as you remember, uh, most platform companies claim themselves uh, simply technological companies, uh, uh, not news or media. So any regulations, uh, I mean, uh, can apply to the news media, uh, cannot be applied uh, to news platforms. Uh, there are many uh, counter arguments uh, I mean, uh, proposed by uh, the uh, digital platforms. The second option I mean, uh, just admit realities. We are hearing many uh, good or nice uh, collaborative projects proposed by the, uh, the uh, platform uh, companies. So one option is take full advantage of those kind of collaborative uh, projects. I mean, using Professor Bell's languages, that is uh, make up uh, options. Uh, again, another option is break up uh, with uh, platform. They just can stop uh, providing uh, news to uh, porters. Uh, I mean, they are talking about South Korea publisher talking about this option, but uh, it was not realized because it is still difficult. Uh, I mean, in the, I mean, after all, all the I mean, legacy media are competitors. And also, still another option is to focus on uh, paid subscription model uh, like the New York Times and many uh, United States uh, news uh, legacy media. But unfortunately, I think none of South Korean publishers will be in the near future successful uh, in this model, uh, paid subscription uh, models. So what can we do? Especially uh, in the public sectors like uh, Korea Pre uh, uh, Press Foundations. Uh, we came up with, uh, uh, we maybe need to develop alternative or different kinds of uh, algorithms through which we can recommend uh, high quality newspaper, uh, news stories or more trustworthy uh, news stories. So the whole idea was to rank news stories uh, in terms of trustworthiness, from the most trustworthy news to least uh, trustworthy uh, news through algorithm. So, let me skip this part. News Trustee Committee was established by the uh, Korea Press uh, Foundation last year. Then uh, I was asked to chair this committee last year. And to be frank with you, I was a little bit hesitant to these offers because I have to ask some questions to myself. The question is, do I know much about codings or algorithm or natural language processing? No, I don't know. And second question is, is it going to be easy task? Absolutely not. And also, is there any this kind of similar project conducted in Western Europe or United States? Not that I know of. So I realized I have to start from the scratch. But after all, I decided to join uh, the committee because uh, it was so important and historically meaningful uh, project. Uh, uh, if it can be very, to some extent successful, or, or it can be uh, very instrumental uh, for enhancing uh, the quality of uh, journalism. The reason we call this is alternative is it's going to be different from the commercial algorithm being run by uh, platform uh, companies. Those algorithms are based on uh, commercial interest and also uh, clickbait uh, based and entertainment oriented, given what the people want to read. But this algorithm is basically public interest based and uh, journalistic, journalistic value based uh, I mean, uh, algorithms. The most commercial algorithms are based on user experience data, but this algorithm will be based on the quality of uh, news content. And those algorithms 
uh, are regarded as a business asset, so lack of transparency. But this algorithm will be public asset, so we're going to adopt our open source uh, strategies. And we're going to uh, disclose all the information about the judgment we made in the process of uh, writing uh, algorithms. So we are going to emphasize the algorithm accountability and uh, transparencies. The committee consists of 15 members, journalism scholars, journalists from TV, newspapers, and digital natives, and also computer scientists, and experts in natural language processing. Okay. And what we had to do is, uh, what we did is first, or we tried to define the definition of high quality news, good journalism, or trustworthy uh, journalism. I mean, it was not easy part. And also we came up with some value criteria, 10 value criteria uh, uh, for the definition of trustworthy uh, news. And then we tried to operationalize those concepts so that we can measure uh, them. And now, finally, we, uh, now, uh, we are applying the uh, machine learning techniques uh, for uh, developing uh, uh, algorithms. So at this point, we are stage uh, number four. Uh, we are trying to apply uh, machine learning uh, to develop algorithms. OK, this is the 10 values uh, we identified. Uh, so this is the kind of dimensions of trustworthiness of news. Uh, it took several months uh, to come up with these uh, values. Uh, factuality, transparency, fairness, diversity, originality, importance, depth of news, uh, readability, and utility, and sensationalism. So sensationalism is uh, negatively related to the trustworthiness. So I don't have time to go over the definition of this concept because the most of the journalists uh, in this room just uh, can understand uh, what uh, we mean by uh, this uh, value concept. So I will skip this part to save time. And also we have to measure uh, this concept and then we need uh, uh, variables, devices for measurement. And this is the, some examples uh, we are using. For factuality, uh, we are using length of news stories, number of named entities, and so on and so on. Uh, for the sensationalism, uh, this kind of uh, variables uh, will be uh, introduced. We have 185 variables for the measurement of 10 value criteria. So we are still working on it. So uh, I just uh, mean uh, uh, this for this event. I'm just proposing these uh, examples. So this is the process of algorithm development. Uh, the news data we are using is uh, from uh, big kinds, the public service oriented news data. I mean, run by uh, this organization, uh, KPF, and we now have uh, more than 100,000 uh, news stories. And the first algorithm we applied is algorithm for categorizations. Uh, this is relatively easy uh, uh, part of the uh, algorithm development. And we categorize all the news, uh, political news, IT news, and business, news, business news, that kind of categories. And then uh, we applied another uh, algorithm because in our uh, big data, uh, big data, there's uh, some kind of repetitions, uh, overlap, because uh, news media are sending uh, news, very similar news story uh, for particular news event. So we had to identify one news story representing one news uh, main event. So that's the uh, filtering uh, algorithms. And then again, we, again, we did cluster uh, analysis uh, by using algorithms. Uh, even though it's political news, uh, uh, we also specified, uh, I mean, in terms of topic, uh, uh, such as, for example, uh, uh, President, uh, President Trump's visit to uh, Blue House or National Assembly, 
that is kind of one topic of political news. Uh, and also a uh, uh, story about some uh, legal processing National Assembly. That's really another topic uh, uh, in, within the area of political uh, news. So now we are developing uh, algorithm. The reason why this is the most difficult uh, uh, part is, for example, if we develop algorithm for the self-driving car, there is answers. There is a wide agreed, wide way of driving. All you have to do is follow rules, traffic rules. But the problem with us was, it's very difficult to reach agreement, consensus. What is trustworthy news? What is high quality news? So uh, when eventually we have to come with a kind of a training set uh, with which uh, machine can run. Uh, this is the basic process uh, for the algorithm uh, development. And that was the very, very difficult part. But what we did is, uh, I would, the eight members of the committees, I uh, mean, as a human coders, they discussed and coded, and again discussed and coded, and trying to find I mean, whether if we are applying same procedure or same rules. But even this process, we I mean, came to know there is some part uh, we can agree. So if that's the case, we just leave it there. We're going to use mean scores. Okay. So, uh, eight members, uh, uh, mean, uh, kind of, uh, as a coders, mean, contribute uh, to the process of mean, uh, identifying or uh, kind of a training set. So, what we need to is trying to find the good fit between human scored estimation and machine scored estimations. So now we are in the process of this simulation and adjustment. Okay. So I think it will uh, take some time uh, to come up with some uh, reasonably safe uh, first version of uh, algorithm, uh, but uh, uh, we are doing a lot of work uh, these days. Some variables are easily quantifiable, as you can see in the examples, but some other variables are very, very difficult to quantify. Because especially South, with Korean language, uh, Korean alphabet is very, very complex. Uh, okay. So this is a kind of mock-up of our service. Uh, I mean, if you fully developed uh, I mean, uh, this algorithm, uh, the service uh, I mean, as a platform uh, will like, look like this. There are two different ways of requesting uh, trustworthy news. Uh, as you can see in the, uh, uh, this part, uh, user can put uh, I mean, relative weight to 10 uh, value criteria. If you want to read uh, in-depth news and uh, factual news, if you want to read uh, the story uh, with high score in the uh, in-depthness and also factuality, you put highest uh, value, uh, weight uh, in those two uh, value dimensions. And for the other dimension, other value dimension, we just uh, put uh, middle or well, I mean, uh, lower uh, uh, I mean, uh, weight. And then you come up with the list of news stories, uh, prioritize uh, deaths of news and also uh, the factuality, uh, things like that. If we don't choose, I mean, uh, we're going to provide the, uh, the news stories by, by default. Okay, what lesson we have learned up to this point? Again, this is extremely hard. But as we go on, we just found this may not be impossible. Of course, this is very difficult. And also, uh, it's, it's very difficult to reach consensus or agreement on top in uh, good journalism. But 
it's much easier to agree on what is bad journalism, what is bad news stories, what is uh, less trustworthy uh, news. So what we come up with, we uh, uh, mean, uh, introduce both approach, positive approach, also uh, negative uh, approaches. Also, what we found is we need different sets of rules for different types of news. Newspaper stories, news stories, and I mean, TV broadcasting uh, news story, uh, I mean, we should apply different sets of rules uh, when we try to estimate uh, the quality of, uh, of our news, and also different genre of uh, news. And some rules and some values are universally applicable, but others are not. And also, for the time being, we need collaborative work between human editors and algorithm-based machine editors, just like the platform uh, companies are uh, doing. So what kind of outcome we are expecting? Uh, accountability and, again, uh, transparency. Uh, this kind of alternative algorithm uh, will call attention to the importance of algorithmic uh, account accountability and uh, trans uh, trans transparency, because I mean, we, our algorithm uh, will be open to uh, every interested parties. And also, this afternoon we talk about diversity, news diversity, but uh, I think uh, the algorithm diversity will eventually lead to the news diversity, uh, which is essential for the operation of a healthy journalism and democracies. So if we have more than one kind of algorithm, uh, I think it's going to be better. And also it can be used as an educational tool for more digital uh, news uh, literacies. Uh, people can, if, if they can read the high quality uh, news, uh, I mean, of course, uh, it's very likely to, for them to be a well-informed uh, public, uh, which is very important uh, for the democracies. For the publishers and news media, I mean, they can introduce this kind of algorithm. They can adjust, they can modify this algorithm, and they can make their CMS more efficient and effect, effective. Before they send buttons, send the buttons, they can just check or they can monitor the quality of their news. So my wish is, our wish is to restore, through this algorithm, uh, restore to value of journalism and enhance the trust uh, of uh, news media and rebuild or build uh, a healthy public forum and uh, democracies. Uh, this is about it, uh, but let me tell you one, uh, one thing. Uh, I mean, I'd like to really thank uh, uh, KPF for uh, continued uh, support. Uh, uh, and also, I mean, as I mentioned several times, this is a very difficult job. Very, very difficult, but at the same time, very, very necessary and meaningful. And here he's saying, even the journey of 1,000 miles begins with a single step. I'm very glad for, to I have shared our first step with you this afternoon. Thank you. 네, 윤영철 교수님 잘 들었습니다. 어, 좋은 강연 답게 또 좋은 질문들이 많이 올라와 있는데요. 영어로 강연을 해주셨기 때문에 저희가 첫 번째 영어로 받은 질문을 제가 읽어 드리도록 하겠습니다. 첫 번째 질문인데요. It is a great presentation since many journalists are here to gain more knowledge about news media and journalism. The process of algorithm development is a bit so long, maybe too long. Any shorter way than that? Are there any challenges to form a news trust committee? Uh, I think it's a very good question. Uh, this is a long process, but uh, one way uh, we can Shorter, the process is, I mean, as I mentioned, just look at the bad journalism. I mean, if, if there's, I mean, there's possibility for, for a kind of algorithm can work, I mean, uh, I mean sorting out the bad, bad stories at bad journalism. Uh, and that's the one uh, way we can uh, shorter the period of this time, this uh, development. And another way is uh, I proposed 10 value criteria, 
when we can come up with what two, what three, just one. But the reason we have 10 value criteria is our committee members are from all different kinds of news medias. Broadcasting people, they talk about fairness, impartiality, and balance. So we have that, okay, that's that. But that, that applies to both, mostly uh, broadcasting uh, news. Uh, the internet newspapers and when, when publishers, I mean, uh, it doesn't apply, uh, not all the time. So there's two ways we can uh, short through the uh, period, I mean, period of development. Uh, one is reducing the value criteria, and the other is, uh, when for the time being, just focus on uh, negative side by penalizing uh, the uh, less trusty or low quality news. 네, 그리고 두 번째 아까 챌린지에 대한 질문이 있었는데요. 다시 제가 띄워 드릴게요. 이것도 다 파신 걸로 간주할까요? 아니면 네, 한 가지 질문이 더 있었어요. 그 어, 뉴스 트러스트 커뮤니티를 구성하시고 이어가시는 데 있어서 어떤 챌린지가 있느냐라는 거였습니다. The first challenge I got uh, when, when I accepted this offer, Professor Yun, do you really think that's possible? <laughs> that's, the, that's, the most, that's the question I, I, I have received. Because, I, of course, I understand. Uh, but I mean, as I realized, uh, it's possible, I think. And many speakers uh, from platform companies, uh, the tendency is they are increasingly dependent on algorithm, but these days there are a combination of human uh, human editors and uh, algorithm editors. But uh, as the chairperson of neighbors in the National Assembly audit, I mean, we're gonna increase our dependence upon algorithm. So I think that is not reversible. That's my feeling. So this kind of alter developing alternative algorithm is very very important, uh, I think. Uh, it will take, I guess, uh, four or five more years. And that's why we think we need uh, more support, uh, continued mm -hmm. support uh, from the KPF. That's the great question. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 네, 이두 가지가 첫, 첫 질문이었습니다. 교수님 질문 두 번째 질문 이제 하나 더 있습니다. 공부 오리라는 분이 질문을 해주셨어요. 개발된 신뢰도 높은 뉴스 추천 알고리즘은 어디에 사용되는 건가요? 네이버나 카카오 같은 포털은 자체 개발한 알고리즘이 있고 위원회에서 만든 알고리즘을 사용하게 강제할 방법도 없습니다. 알고리즘의 실제 활용이 궁금합니다. So one way we can use this algorithm if we fully uh, mean developed is a uh, big kind site, okay? Uh, we have large amount of news data, and we need, anyway, the first page of that uh, site. So people come to uh, visit uh, big kinds, and they just try to uh, read a newspaper, but quite different way from the porters or social media platform. They can read, or they may be able to read uh, with their news stories in terms of news quality or news uh, trustworthiness. 